Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I did my own version of my Hogwarts house. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the whole Harry Potter series and I personally am a huge Potterhead. So I've read all the books multiple times and I've watched the movies more times than I could ever admit. <laughs> Okay, so I did the Pottermore test way back when, I think no, medyo matagal, medyo matagal na, like a few years ago, maybe close to 10 years ago. And I found out that my house is Ravenclaw. So I'll put a photo right here, uh, kung saan kilala sila Ravenclaw, kung ano sila sa Harry Potter universe. Okay, so I decided this look on my own, uh, just to challenge myself a little bit more. So. Marami na ako nakita mga versions online and this is my own version. So if you guys want to see me uh, complete this look, then just keep watching! Right eye prepared, so na-prime ko na siya. So we're going to do one eye on camera kasi this look kind of takes me Usually around two hours, and I don't want to keep you guys uh, waiting for me to finish this look. So, gagawin ko lang one eye on camera para makita niyo lang din yung techniques and the colors that I'm going to use in order to, to create my own version of a even glow look. Okay. So for this video, we'll be using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Blue Blood Eyeshadow Palette. So, this palette has a lot of really nice uh, blue shades. Ito yung mga shades natin with a couple of neutrals and daily, in daily shades na pwedeng gamitin. But we'll be focusing, of course, on blue shades today to recreate yung Raven Glow look that I tried out a few days ago. Okay? So, first we'll start off with the shade Blue Blood. So, it's this one right here. Okay? And I'll put that all over my lid as like a transition shade. Here we go. So as you can see, it's really pigmented. I really love the blues in this in this eyeshadow palette. So talagang it really shows up with very minimal effort. Although when it comes to blue shades, medyo mas mahirap nga siyang it blend perfectly, so kaya rin siya matagal kasi it really takes time for me to blend it out. So we don't we don't need to be like super precise or perfect about this, uh, kasi we're going to do a bit of a cut piece later on, so para madatakpan din ng concealer yung sa lid natin. So even if May konting eyeshadow siya ngayon. It's okay. Uh, kasi makawala rin yun sa later on. Okay. So, emphasize lang natin siya ng konti dito sa dulo. Okay, let me do lang this up. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, si Blue Blood is all over our lid. Our eyelid. So, we can now move on to the next shade. Okay, so we'll now use the shade Blue Monday. So it's this one right here. Uh, as our crease shade. So it's natin sa crease. Natin. So it's like this. Okay. Then we'll start off the edge ng eyes. Natin. Deepen it out and then we'll blend in natin siya. So, I'm going to be doing a cut crease since I'm going to be uh, doing a cut crease. So, para rin makita yung transition ng color from the lighter shade to the darker shade. So, I'm going to be doing a cut crease. So, I'm going to be doing a cut crease. So, I'm going to be So, sa ngayon, medyo may 
Tiramisu siya. But I've heard from like a couple of tutorials that I shadow looks tend to look worse before it gets better. So, syempre, habang pinukompleto natin siya, it will look even nicer and better. So, next, we'll be doing a cut crease. So, ito medyo matrabaho and it requires a lot of focus on my part kasi I do have a bit of a shaky hand. So, we'll do that right now. For the cut crease, I'll be using my uh, Maybelline Full Coverage uh, Concealer. So, ayan siya. So, it's in the shade Light Medium. So, siya yung gagamitin ko ngayon to cut my crease. Okay? So, lagay ko lang siyang contact dito. Then, there's this trick that I found out. Kasi, if you look at my eyelids, may nakaka siyang maliit. So, what I found out that you could do is start at the middle. So, start ka dyan, like so. Tapos, bilat ka. So, alam mo na kung hanggang saan mo dalilin yung cut crease mo. There. Okay? So, follow ko lang yung shape niya with more concealer. Then, follow the shape right here. Okay. Unti-unti lang yung pag-work ko dito kasi medyo madaling mag-work. Okay. Okay. So, ngayon, ito, medyo na nga siya pa siya. So, ito, I'll bring it I'll wing it out. So, ayan. Kuha ko ng shape na gusto ko. And then, nalign ko lang siya right here. Then, pagkokonitin ko. Ayan. So, meron na tayong a bit of a concealer wing na i-fill in lang natin with more concealer. So, mayroon na tayong concealer wing. Okay? So, yan na. Mayroon na tayong wing. Medyo, at least, we're getting good with this, con with this cut crease. Kasi before, hindi ko talaga siya ma-perfect. Well, hindi pa rin siya perfect ngayon. But, it will do. <laughs> what we'll need is like, um, a coppery shade. A really nice coppery shade that will, um, complement yung eyeshadow sa meron tayo. And at the same time, We'll show you the Raven Claw colors natin. So, syempre, si Blue Blood, wala siya masyadong coppery shades. It's more pinks and blues and greens. So, we'll dip in into another Jeffree Star palette. Uh, hashtag not spawn. I wish it was spawn. Uh, but I really just love his eyeshadow. So, we'll be dipping in the, into the Thirsty palette. So, ito yung tsura niya. Ayan. So, itong dalawang to, one and two, ito yung gagamitin natin. Two, dito sa cut crease na ginawa natin. Okay? So, first, I'll be using my finger and dipping into the shade Lick. Okay? So, ito yung tsura niya. So, it's kind of more goldy than bronze, but that's what we'll use the other shade for later on. So, parang in starter shade lang natin. Okay? So, here we go. So, I'm more patting it in than blending it in. So, yung kamawala yung ibang concealer na mayroon tayo sa eyes. Yeah. So, mayroon ng konting konti. So, we're in getting more. Then, so, bubuin lang natin siya. Right there. Then we'll use a smaller brush to get the wing because it's a big for this one. Okay. So, we're going to 
dagdagan lang natin yung shine, tensify lang natin. Then we'll put some on the ding, binuo natin. Ayan. Okay, so yun yung itsura niya ngayon. So medyo, baka hindi pa masyado nag-reflect yung ring. But now we'll dip into the shade punch. So it's this one right here. Para magmukha talaga siyang bronzy. Rather than goldish copper. Okay, so I'm going to be using my finger again. Put it in here. Then, put it on it. So, it's reflecting a bit too much, but now it's it's looking a bit more cop uh, bronze, which is one of the Ravenclaw colors. Yeah, so, yan. okay, so, that's one eye down, so, linisin lang natin. Yan. So, I'm just using this eye makeup remover pads from Pure Derm Skin Solution, so this is their soft and mild. Um, eye makeup remover pad. So, ito yung gagamitin ko to clean out yung edge ng wing natin. So, para mas mukha talaga siyang sharp. Yan. So, topic ko lang. And then, wipe it up like so. Again. So, mukha na siyang malinis. So, again, this is not done. To finish off yung eye look natin, so, we'll be using the Revlon Crystal Aura Liquid Alloy Eyeshadow. So, ang gagawin ko rito is trace out ko lang yung line na ginawa ko with the concealer. So, para lang magmukha siya ang buro. So, ito yung tura niya. Just going to put it right here. And I'm going to use this. So, I think this is supposed to be a lip brush. But brushes like I usually use to do like intricate shapes, yung mga, uh, mga eye shapes na ginagawa ko, yung mga nakikita sa Instagram ko. So, follow my Instagram para makita niyo yung mga ibang nakakalok at nakakabaliw na looks na ginagawa ko. I'm just dipping it in right here. Then, start na tayong mag-trace up. So, hindi siya masyadong makita kasi it's too shiny. Pero, yan. Bubuo na natin yung wing. And, you can see, there's already a trace of gold there. So, tapos na yung upper part ng eyes natin. So, I'll do the other eye off-camera as well as the rest of my face makeup. And, I'll be right back. And, guys. So, we're back. And, we finished up the other eye. So, both eyes are done. So, eyebrows pala kayo na patapos. And then I already did my base makeup, so that's foundation, concealer, and setting powder. And now I'm doing my contouring using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. This one right here. So we're dipping in this shade, the contour shade, and we're contouring this ever growing round face. So, gagawin na rin natin yung trick natin na to with the chin. So, na-start ko na siya kanina. So, ngayon, mukha na akong may jawline versus 
Uh, wala. Let's emphasize this one even more. Yeah. So, hindi ka mukhang nag-gain ng X number of pounds during ECG. Okay. Next is blush. So, we'll add a bit more color into this cheeks using the BYS oh, oh My I'm Blushing Blush Palette. So, it's this one right here. Ayan. So, it looks like this. Ayan. So, marami siyang blush shades and we'll be dipping into this one. It's really orangey one. Uh, to complement yung eye look natin. So, yeah, may blush on na tayo. Baka na tayo may life. So, before we move on to highlighting, so, I think it's the perfect time to finish up yung eyes natin. So, we'll go back to our blue blood uh, eyeshadow palette. And we'll go back to the shade Blue Monday. So, I'm using this flat brush to get a bit of shade. And what I'll do is a line yung bottom lash line ko muna using this then iba blend out ko siya with a different shade okay so grab my mirror and here we go mirror okay. time line then let's do the other eye Ayan, so meron na tayo both eyes. And now, we'll take yung lintong brush, a little blending brush, and we'll dip into the shade uh, Blue Blood. So, yan. Ito lang tayo. Blend out yung midline natin. blend out na natin siya. I'm going to go back to the upper eyes just to add a bit of a line. So, I don't want to do a black liner. So, let me just take um, the Undertaker. So, it's this shade right here. Yan. So, I'm gonna take it in a, another flat angled brush. Then, I'll just line my lash line a little bit. Just to intensify it a bit. I'm really trying to get it really, really close to my hair lash line and we have to fall out and see what I said. So I'll just brush it off later on. And I'm going to in contact. Now to dust off that, that fall out and I hope it doesn't mess up my face. So, yeah, may definition na tayo ng konti. Although, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking that maybe we can extend this gold line a little bit more. Maybe? Let me see. Let me try it out with one eye first. Okay, so we're going back with the uh, Crystal Aura Liquid Alloy Eyeshadow. So, it's this one. Okay, so we're going back to that and I'm going to see if I can extend the lines to my... Um, tear ducts. Wish me luck na hindi siya mag-mess up. So, buunan natin siya. We try the other eye. Hmm. Yay! Our next step, uh, since we have to do makeup natin ngayon, uh, let me just do a quick setting spray just to melt the powders all together. So I'll be using my Innisfree No Sebum Setting Spray. So it's this one. Yeah. So I'll be setting my face just a little bit. This will set the time on my hand. 
okay and just to make sure that the powders don't move kasi medyo naglayer upon layer na tayo dito <laughs> so for highlighting I'll be using my Becca uh, shimmering skin perfector so it's this one right here and I'm using the shade um, champagne pop so again uh, another cult favorite I would say so I used to use the shade topaz nila then one of my friends uh, Giselle hi Giselle so she turned me to champagne pop because it really is a really nice a really really nice highlighting shade okay so we go like that then tap off a bit of the excess then focus natin dito sa upper part ng cheek natin then here we go ayan so konti lang yun ah I didn't even like dip my brush in and it's already blinding everyone ayan Oh, I'm really glossy, really uh, healthy. I would say. We'll do the other side now. So we're just done with that. Let's do the other side. Yeah. So blinding, 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 and blinding. Okay, copy lang yun. Use a smaller brush to highlight my nose. So I'm still using this shade. Then I'll do the exclamation point trick. Yeah. Even that line itself is really making my nose look a lot smaller. Okay, so then the dot here, just a little tiny dot. So we're done with the highlighter. We'll be doing silibs, which is a bit of a trick for me, or a tricky part for me, I would say. Because, um,. I want to take this a bit further, but I am scared. <laughs> okay. For lips, we'll be using the uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. So it's this one right here. And it's in the shade Amazonian. So it's a really nice browny, nudey shade. Grab the mirror and let's go. So, we could already end it here, but well, actually I am going to end it here, but I will show you that there's a trick that I usually do, or not usually. Okay, so this is a trick that I did uh, back when I did a blue eyeshadow look in, in December, uh, wherein I took C, the blue blood palette. I used the shade Ocean Eyes. It's this really, really nice um, shimmery blue. And I put it on top of a nude lip. I'll show a picture right here of what it looks like. Para lang din may idea kayo how I did it before. Pero ngayon, I think, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this look turned out. Okay? I'll just finish up with some mascara and some setting spray and I'll do it. Okay guys, so that completes this look. So what do you think? Um, personally, I think I did okay with my own rendition of the Raven Claw eye makeup look. Um, I would be totally honest, I tried this look out last night uh, to practice lang din para alam ko kung ano yung gagawin ko when I'm shooting. Pero, nagka-problema ako last night dun sa cut crease because I couldn't for the life of me match it up. So, medyo masaya ako ngayon na mukha siyang pantay. At least in camera, it looks nice. Pero, yeah, it does look nice naman even in the mirror. So at least napantay ko siya. No problems there. And then with the rest of the makeup, I really like how this turned out. So it's not so far from what I usually do. But again, with the cut crease and the eye look, I did manage to challenge myself yet again to blend out even more colors and to make it look different than what I usually do. Okay? So that completes this look. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. 
uh, let me know kung gusto niyo ng gawin ko yung ibang mga houses sa Hogwarts. Uh, and I'll do my best to recreate them. So there's Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. I think Slytherin is gonna be the most challenging because green eye shadows are really hard to do or really hard to blend. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.